in an alternate timeline where I live in a fishbowl. Is he not going to attack Ellen? Oh, did I leave uh, Ellen? Oh, uh, God, I left Ellen. No! Uh, Ellen! Oh, I left Ellen! No! Ellen. Goodbye, Ellen. Oh, Ever. Ellen, Ever no. since we rescued you from that dank dungeon. Nobody give up. Welcome back. I am Duncan, and I'm joined today by Isaac. Hey, everybody. We're back. And uh, also Kelsey. Hi. Yeah. So, unless you came from an alternate reality, uh, this is the first time you've heard Kelsey <laughs> on this program. <laughs> uh, sure which I definitely never screwed up. Uh, and we this is the first time we've ever recorded this. So, Kelsey, um, why don't you... Tell us uh, your experience with Fire Emblem, like you definitely have never done before, uh, and then we'll get going with Chapter 4. Excellent. So yeah, I'm Kelsey. Uh, my experience with Fire Emblem was um, picking it up as a uh, Game Boy Advance game. I played the Sacred Stones. Um, that was my first game, and then I just kind of played the majority of the, the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games, but... Not until I was older and learned that you could buy them off eBay or Amazon. <laughs> and Sweet. Um, yeah, I've never played this one before, so I'm pretty excited. And yeah. Oh boy, am I excited for us to get into some brand new gameplay. Brand yeah, new. The, this is, we've never seen this before, for sure. Uh, and Kelsey, you've played uh, newer ones as well, and you played like the 3DS and the DS games, right? The, or the, at least the North American ones? Yeah, I've played the North American games. I've never gotten into the Japanese games, but that's more because I am, I struggle with technology, so that's, this is a different story. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Yeah, fair enough. I'll, uh, at some point I should send you some some tools for getting started on that. Which, I'd appreciate it. Of course, it. Uh, first... You you need to buy a physical copy of the cartridge for this game, and then you hack the translation patch into it. That's definitely how we do this. That's how you do it. You don't use the internet whatsoever. No, that would be illegal. Well, you yeah. need to download so, the translation patch first. Yes, legally, yeah, of course. I mean, that's fine. That's totally yeah. That will be. I'll have a link to that in the description of the video. We because, don't break uh, rules here. Yes, no, we are we are law-abiding citizens <laughs> through right. and through. We don't break rules and we don't reset when Ellen dies. Never. Yeah. Not Ellen even once. Ellen has never died so far, not even once. No one's died, actually. <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> well, with that amazing uh, introduction. <laughs> yeah, let's get going on chapter four here. Uh, yeah, we don't care about that. Respecting Hector's dying request, as no one has died, Roy makes his way west. <laughs> Hector? Never heard of him. Hector, He's not playable. I just met her. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Intent on reaching Olina, Roy keeps a steady pace toward Ostia. On his way there, Roy passes through the territory of Laos. Governed by Lord Eric. At a glance, Laos is a peaceful territory with vast meadows and clear streams. Beneath this beauty, however, lies treachery and great skullduggery. <laughs> skullduggery. Uh, Thank you, Gringe, for that translation. Yeah. That's a uh, that's beautiful. This isn't your uh, this isn't your average skullduggery. <laughs> Chapter four: Crumbling League. Yeah. <laughs> ah, welcome, General Narshin. Lord Eric. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've yet praised your wisdom in joining Burn. Ah, uh, thank you, sire. Uh, ancient vows and traditions are nothing more than a burden anyway. You, my friend, are wise beyond your years. Now, where's that <laughs> gift you promised me? She does not seem to be here. Ah, yes, 
Yes, she is in her quarters. She is exceedingly naive, you see. When I told her she could meet her brother, she cooperated without question. You there, bring her here. What is this hall? Clain? Where are you, brother? Welcome, Lady Clarine. Who might you be? I am Narshin, <laughs> one of Burn's three wyvern generals. My lovely little lass, I think you will enjoy my company more than your brother's. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wh why do you laugh? You compare yourself to my brother? You think too highly of yourself. You garb your hair, even your speech. All a painfully obvious guys to hide your true lowborn face. Lowborn? Me? You would compare me to a peasant? Oh, heavens no. I would compare you to a filthy, disease-ridden mutt. Y you vermin! I'll see you suffer! Uh, General Narshan, uh, we just received word uh, that uh, Castle Arafin uh, was retaken by the enemy. What? I impossible! What of Slater? Uh, uh, well, his whereabouts are unknown, sire. The enemy is reported to be Roy, son of Marcus Ferret. Accursed interruptions! Lord Eric, lock the girl in the cell. I will give her the pleasure of my company when I return. You, blockade the high road from Ostia. This Roy might just pass by. I want his head! Uh, yes, sire. Ah, uh, classic scene of classism and vague rape threats. But is the blockade legal, is the question. Ah, uh, our blockade <laughs> is uh, perfectly legal. <laughs> I will make it legal. Okay. Um... <laughs> So yeah, this chapter is hard. <laughs> uh, let's look at some of these guys. So these guys have some pretty good stats. They do have stat variants. Uh, I'm not sure. Is this guy? I can't remember what their stats are normally like, but they're um, yeah, they're they're stronger than the enemies we have fought so far, uh, and that is due to a glitch in it or something in the way that. Yeah, this guy rolled high on strength, I think. Um, it's due to some sort of glitch in the way that uh, bonuses for hard mode were applied to enemies in this game. So, yeah, the enemies in this chapter are super buff. Perfect. Um, yeah, let's... So we've got all these cavaliers, so let's take this guy. This guy's got 10 strength and 9 speed. And which one's our higher level cav right now? Uh, yeah, Lance doesn't compare too favorably, although he's faster, but not fast enough to double. But 7 strength compared to 10. Yikes, and then even Marcus here only has 9 strength, <laughs> so... It's, it's not, not great, just not a great start. So you're saying we're in for a real fun chapter. We are indeed. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, trying to get Marcus to fight a bunch of these guys. I know, a surprising strategy, but uh, we're going to give him another javelin, mm -hmm. and you're just going to hang out. Uh, oh, I should have moved Bolt first, because I wanted to, whatever. Yeah, we'll get Roy out of the way. Roy is going to fight this guy, and uh, he has a small chance to crit him, which would be super good. Believe in you, Roy. He also has a chance to miss, and that's very bad, so... We'll see how that goes. Uh, Marcus needs something else. Right? Yes. We're going to give him this hand axe. Alright. And I think he's just going to use his uh, 
his Silver Lance, because I want to do a bunch of damage to the Cavaliers. Unfortunately, that means he won't be able to do anything to this uh, Nomad. Oh, yeah, this is also the first time we're seeing Nomads, and that I didn't forget that because I messed up a recording previously, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> uh, so they're basically just mounted archers, or I guess a better description might be Cavaliers that use bows, because their stats are more similar to Cavaliers. Um... One big difference, though, is that uh, weapons that are supposed to be effective against cavalry are not effective against um, nomads, and that is uh, also because of a programming error in this game, which was definitely super complete and ready to be released when it was uh, put out into the wild. <laughs> uh, it, it's an excellent game. I don't, I don't have any complaints. I mean, I love this game, but there's a few there's a few things that really indicate that it was uh, not quite done when they popped it out. And that's probably why it never got released in the West. So hopefully they do a a remake at some point. And yeah, I could see this being here. a good game for a remaster. Mm hmm. Okay, so if we put. Yeah, we can put Alan here. This guy probably won't attack him because he now has weapon triangle disadvantage, which enemies care about, even though... Even though it doesn't really matter. <laughs> totally doesn't matter. Uh, and then there's something else we wanted to move around here. Yeah, okay, so we're going to put Lot up here and give him the halberd. Mm. That seems so the like halberd... it be good against cavalry. Yeah, the halberd is effective against cavalry. Uh, its accuracy is quite terrible. I think he'll have like against lance cavaliers, he'll he'll have something like 59 hit, and he'll have like 39 hit against sword cavaliers. Um, but if we get in trouble, we can always try to make that work. Uh, let's hope that we don't need to do that too much. Uh, we just want to. He's not fighting anything, and then Shanna is just gonna hang out up here for now. Bolt is fine here, I think, and boars. Uh, oh yeah, I've decided I'm going to train boars, and that is because I want to try out the Armor Knight triangle attack in this game, which I've never seen before. <laughs> Perfect. I love I'm... that there's an Armor Knight triangle. Training Wendy is, is really terrible, so we'll see how that goes. Uh... Well, Marcus there you go, is doing Marcus. Well. Good start. Good start. Uh, All right, Roy, All come right, on. Add a boy, Roy. Come on. Add a boy, Roy. Let's do this. Okay, he hit. Roy, Good. not bad. Now, because this guy rolled high on defense, Roy can't two hit or two shot him. Mm. That's not a very good level up. Mm. So, I think maybe with Walt's help we can get through him though. There we go. Our big finish boy, Walt. Uh, oh, and he also two shots Roy, which is unfortunate. So we're gonna have to risk Roy's life here, I think. I mean, it's not like he's the most important character in the army. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, that is implied, but what has he actually done? Well, he's gonna kill this cavalier, or at least there's a ninety-seven percent chance. <laughs> I like. <laughs> he did it! Yay! Roy! At least he's accurate, I'll give him that. Yeah. That's what they teach you in tactics school. Uh, oh, we can't get here, eh? What if Lou Maybe hits can... that, um, the Cavalier by the bridge? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking whether or not I can actually give this kill to Lou. I feel like that would be super fun. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <forced>. <laughs> You're killing me, oh, Boris. buddy. Now, if Boris hits that, though, we can give the kill to Lou. Is there anybody better for that, maybe? Does that work? Six and seven. That would do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go, Lance. Nice. Yeah. Big kill for Luff. <laughs> Come on! Yeah! Fire! Uh. In his 
banana outfit. This is a little banana boy. I know like we mine. lost we lost a lot of audio of me complaining about that costume, but it's bad. <laughs> it, I mean, the audio is still somewhere. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's saved to my desktop. Yeah, in fact, I have the audio of you. It's just my audio that's that's bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't Ooh. think anyone is going to watch this for you. The only one who <laughs> yes. knows what he's doing. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. Shanna. So bows are, of course, effective against flyers, so this isn't that surprising, but the fact that she gets doubled is pretty awful. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I want to see Shanna take 40 damage. <laughs> Maybe Wade? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go Wade. Oh, Wade. He doesn't die. Yeah. Lot. Well, yeah, maybe Lot. Let's go Lot. Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if we can get this guy first. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Yeah, Alan. Big kill for Alan. Ellen is going to go over here, probably. But let's do this before I forget, and then we'll get get the tension high. Without a thief, you can't open doors and chests so easily. Only thieves can use lockpicks. But I have something called a door key, which will open any door. Anyone can use it. You can have it. Seems like a really valuable thing to just give to a stranger. Yeah. Also, it seems like there's some real shitty doors in this universe. <laughs> <laughs> what, you mean you don't like it when any key can open any door? And then just oh. some kid in a village has it? <laughs> <laughs> Giving it away to strangers. You never know. Sometimes strangers might need to open a door. I mean, That's true. I, I've never thought about it, but I guess most strangers need to open a door. I really like the description on that. Door Just in key. case you you weren't sure. Opens door doors. <laughs> they they really triple explained that one for us. All right, forty three percent chance of boars not getting a kill. Okay, uh, let's, try, uh, let's try lot lot first. Will he get um, experience just from missing though? Because don't doesn't that happen from time to time? I think you get one experience. We can check. We can check. Um, yeah. So as you can see, the halberd is not mm, not that reliable. <laughs> and does he die? Almost dies. So let's just go with an iron axe and have somebody else. Nice. It's a big hit. Unfortunately, we still can't give the kill to. Boars, he's just not strong enough. Boars can be there and try his best. What is... He'll try his best. <laughs> hey! What is Boars' purpose? I think in normal mode, he has enough defense not to take too much damage. Okay. Oh, look at that! Yeah! I love a good coin oh, flip. Shanna! <laughs> yeah! Hey. Shanna! You go, girl. Uh. At least right. she has the decency not to throw her lances underhand. Heal up, Roy. Who's throwing lances Ram. underhand? Boars. Boars. Did you oh, see I that animation? It. I have to watch that again. <laughs> well, hopefully he does something this fight. As someone um, who never uses armor units when I play Fire Emblem, I gotta learn this stuff. I don't think there's anything else we can do. We're going to have to retreat again because these guys are way too strong for us to take on and they're going to be coming in another wave. So mm. we're going to be uh, setting up Marcus for another round. So we're just going to hang out here. Fair enough. They will pay dearly for this treatment. <laughs> Who's feeling edgy? I can be edgy. Go for it. Hey. Who's there? I'm a mercenary hired by Lord Eric. He wants to see you. 
I will not. I refuse to meet with such churlish people. Just get over here. Get over here. Let go. You will regret this. Have you any idea who I am? Mm. Let go, I say. Dialogue. <laughs> uh, five ellipses shows how edgy he is. I like He's that you voiced edgy. him like a cowboy. I mean, he, he kind of is a cowboy. Cowboys are edgy. It's in their job description. Yeah. I mean, sorry, I, I've never met this character before as a relative newcomer to this game, but... Oh, I messed up. We didn't even meet him once. Not even once. No. Not Who even is twice. This? Who is this mysterious mercenary hired by Lord Eric? I bet he'll be a big boss we'll have to fight. You never know. I mean, hopefully we don't have to fight him. <laughs> it's not going to go well for us if we do. Nah. Uh, all right. Well, ah, oh, man, I kind of wanted... I Usually my Shanna doesn't end up way down here when I'm playing this, so I can drop off Ellen after I heal up Marcus, but I guess we'll just do that next turn and not heal anybody next turn. That's kind of too bad. Um, okay, everybody, run away. <laughs> Except for you. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going there. And put you here, I guess. Here. Looking good. And Marcus. If you put him on the forest, you get extra bonuses. Yeah, my concern is if I put him in the forest, I'm not sure that my, my other guys will be able to get there to help out killing everybody. Because mm. I think they'll pile up over here. Right. I, I kind of want to pull them in toward everybody, so I think I'm going to put him in the same spot I put them put him uh, last time. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it worked well the first time. Yeah. We didn't have to rely on any low percentage hits. Hey, now. <laughs> Everything's 50-50 when you think about it. <laughs> That's true. Either That's it, definitely true. Either it happens or it doesn't. Oh, that yeah. guy pulled, uh, okay. low on speed. Alright, alright. I see you, Marcus. Yeah, so one of the things with like the hard mode bonuses in this game is that they are um, randomized a little bit. They have growth rates. Right. So, yeah, they, they can roll... Like, the enemies can get bad stat rolls and then... <laughs> Like this, Marcus might just destroy them. Yeah. So I've never. This has never happened to me before. I'm feeling very lucky right now. Yeah. Is he gonna kill all of them? That would be wild. Marcus. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh. I kind of wanted to give some experience to some other people, but this is also good. I mean, we're in good shape at least. Let. Go. Let go, I say. I keep it down. You won't be able to make a clean escape making all that noise. Escape? Then you're... I prepared a horse for you out back under a tree. Take it and go while everyone's distracted. Dot, 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 dot. Why are you helping me? I despise burn with all my soul. With all your soul. Never mind. Forget it. Saying that only piques my curiosity further. Time is short. Hurry! Dot 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 dot. <laughs> I've never met such a boorish man. This is a battlefield! A proper gentleman would escort a lady to her mansion. Yeah, to her mansion. <laughs> well, it's hardly of concern now. 
<sighs> I only came here to see my brother, and now look at the mess I'm in. What am I to do now? Oh my god, Chlorine is ridiculous. Boy. Oh, we'll, t <laughs> <laughs> we'll, t we'll talk more about her when she uh, recruits herself. Uh, oh yeah, I do, I do want to explain, I guess uh, this is a good time. Chlorine is a weird character uh, in terms of the way you recruit her mechanically because you can't recruit her, she has to recruit herself. So she will come talk to Roy, but you can't go talk to her with Roy. Naturally. She seems quite stuck up at the best of times, so it only makes sense. Um, I don't really want to use a silver lance on this guy, because we have a lot of people here. Mm. Let's just go for this. There's something happening. <laughs> I heard something, but I don't know what it was. Uh... Wait, oh, wait. <laughs> uh, okay, that's not bad. How? Oh. I'd like to give this kill to Lance, probably, or but six. But if you can box him in with um, other characters, then he can't attack anyone, correct? True. True. Now. Uh, I think this turn there are pirates coming out of these forts. Ah, uh, pirates. So I, I can't hang around here too long, but I do think I have time to just surround this guy. And that means we can give a kill to... The correct answer is Shanna, but... <laughs> but Boris. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean... He can't get in there yet. Let's... Okay, let's do this. Get some chip. Yeah, Shanna. Chip, uh, chip on Shanna. Poke him with she your gets... slim lance. Right? And then. Is uh... Boris gonna get his kill? He could. He Let's could. put him to one. Let's put him to one, and then, uh. Yeah. Boris. Boris will do his best. Let's go, Boars. I believed right, in you. Let's do that underhand throw. I believed in you. Yeah, and then he, he'll get two chances. He'll get on chance on enemy phase two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boars. <laughs> At a boy. Perfect underhand javelin technique. <laughs> Big level up, Boars. Let's go. Let's go. Speed. He got speed. Four speed. Speedy boy, Boars. <laughs> He's got speed. Four speed boars. He can he can uh, he can theoretically double attack now. Nice. Plot twist. Wait, boars is the speedy a boy speed all enemy. along. No, only enemies with zero speed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we'll we'll face a lot of those on hard mode. Yeah, I don't know if there are any. I, I'm not. I, I'm not familiar enough with this game to to know all the enemy stats, but I have my doubts that that's going to be of much use. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, let's just kind of move people along. We can. Mm, no, we don't want to rescue because we are going to need to do a bunch of stuff tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's what tomorrow. I meant. Next turn. <laughs> tomorrow on Fire Emblem. The army moves again. <laughs> Foolish nobility. <laughs> Always involved in some petty dispute. Of course, you'll hear no complaints from us. <laughs> Turmoil's how we make a living. <laughs> oh yeah, here come the pirates, running on water. Da -da 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 da 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 Pretty sure that's copyright right there. Oh, my bad. Yeah, now, now we go to jail. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Don't sue us, Johnny Depp. 